Now the pen tool is really the first tool out of these art tools here that we have taken a look at. And the next one that I'd like to show you guys is actually the paintbrush tool. So if I select that over here on my toolbar, or I can press B on the keyboard, you can see that I can actually just start to kind of draw freehand to create some shapes. So the brush tool is great, especially if you're using a stylus, because you can really get in there and just draw, and you can actually tell that it kind of fixes itself once I've created a path. It kind of smooths out the curves. But within Illustrator, if you come over here to your panels and expand the brush panel, you'll see that you've got a few brushes here to begin with. But if I actually go ahead and just create a regular path, just a curved line like this, I can select it and then just apply one of these brushes to it. So these are some of the preset brushes in Illustrator. And if I come to this menu up on the top right, that looks like three or four stacked lines, I can come down here to where it says Open Brush Library, and I can choose from any of these preset brushes. Now, vector packs, image brush, decorative brushes, uh, bristle brushes, borders, artistic, and arrows. So let's go ahead and go into the artistic brushes and choose one of these, maybe the chalk charcoal pencil brushes. And now you'll see that I have all these custom brushes that I can use to apply to my stroke as well. So there's some really cool ones in here, some that are kind of add a little bit of roughness and a little bit of texture to a path. So that's a really cool way to use some of these preset brushes to create even more interesting looking lines. So let's say for example if I created just a box, then I go ahead and apply a custom brush to it, you can also create some grungy looking borders and frames in addition to just being able to apply it to a path. Okay, and if I use a black fill and then use one of these rough brushes for the outline, you'll see it actually creates another type of border that we can use. So it's a great way to add some, some personality and, and give a little more style to any of your shapes. And there's a whole bunch in here that you can choose from, but you can also load up external brushes. If you have you know, some brushes that you download or if you've created presets, you could do something where you save your brushes and then you can load them up in Illustrator later. But these are just some of the brushes that come with the program. And in the next part, I'm going to show you guys how you can actually create some custom brushes of your own.